Well, our public uh, lines on this are not going to change. I don't anticipate them changing. As we said yesterday, we are concerned about tensions between these two countries. We, the United States, don't take a position on the ultimate sovereignty of the Senkakus, but we want to see the Japanese and the Chinese work through it. As you know, the Secretary had meetings with both Hu Jintao and uh, um, Prime Minister Noda. We are going to do our diplomacy in private, as you can imagine. Uh, we have uh, Defense Secretary Panetta is still in China, and he's obviously, I would, uh, would guess, he's uh, Speaking on is, one of, well. is one of the reasons for your concern the fact that the uh, that, 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 these, that, that this disputed territory is covered by um, the treaty? I think our main area of concern at the moment is that tensions are relatively high. As the Secretary said when we were in Asia, this is not a new issue. This has been mm -hmm. around for decades, and the tensions have periodically spiked over time, but they're quite high now, right. and that always well, exactly. concerns us. I, but I don't recall the American ambassador's car being attacked. Well, again, uh, in the middle of a so I'm just wondering. I mean, is one of the reasons for your concern, and I think I don't see why it would be a diplomatic faux pas to say it was that that you know if there is a conflict between Japan and China, your ally uh, Japan and China over this, your treaty you, you have treaty obligations that would come into into play. Well, we've obviously spoken to our position on all of that. It is not good for anybody, not for China, not for. Japan and not for the United States or any other regional powers when tensions are heightened because uh, you could have, uh, you know, unexpected consequences. Right. Which, you could have which, miscalculations. Right. Which yeah. then could lead to your becoming involved, correct? I'm not going to get into treaty? hypotheticals, but you know our position on all of this. Please, in the back. Yeah, so will the U.S. government try to reduce the people's impression that the U.S. is siding with Japan? Well, people should not have that impression because we've been absolutely clear that we want to see these governments work through this uh, bilaterally, through dialogue, uh, and that's what we are saying to both the Chinese side and the Japanese side, and we will continue to do that. Okay. Go ahead. This is not the first incident at U.S. missions uh, in China. Even Ambassador Locke in the past had complained that uh, your mission in Hong Kong was also uh, in, uh, had a problem uh, because Chinese uh, were keeping their eyes there. They were harassing uh, uh, U.S. diplomats there. So uh, do you know about that in Hong Kong also? Uh, I think that was a separate issue which, which went to uh, – which, which didn't have to do with demonstrations, et cetera. Yeah, I have a 